What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Daisy and welcome back to Vlogmas Day. Day 14. Wow, wait, really? Yeah, Vlogmas Day 14. Holy shit, not even 13. Okay, welcome back to Vlogmas Day 14. Anyways, today I'm going to be showing you how I achieved my winter makeup look. This is literally my everyday winter makeup routine. So if you guys want to see that, then keep watching. The very first thing that I do is I put in Lumify eye drops, and this basically just makes your the whites of your eye a little bit brighter and whiter, and you look more awake and a little bit more face tuned. You know? Okay, so as you can see, like my eyes just look like a little bit whiter, brighter, super cute. And then I use the Pin Up Secret face moisturizer. Looks like this. It's oil free. I actually did a promo for this on Instagram. And I ended up really, really loving it, so now I use it. So I put in about that much. And I just smush this all over my face. You guys know how to apply moisturizer. And I use oil-free moisturizer because I break out if I don't use it. Oil-free moisturizer. And I feel like makeup applies a little bit better when you don't use oil-based makeup. The first thing that I do is I apply a concealer to the red spots, to the little acne scars. I don't really have any pimples right now. It's just kind of a scar that needs to go away. But thankfully, like, the texture of my skin is better. Ooh, this side of my face is looking so good. If you guys remember from, like, when I first started vlogging, my skin was not that good. So I use the Laura Mercier. Yeah, right there. Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer. And I use it in the shade 2W. And I just find the little dark spots that I have. About it for today. Okay. It is looking good. And then I don't use the Beauty Blender to blend in concealer. I'll use my ring finger. Mainly because I feel like the foundation sticks to your skin better and not what you're applying it with when you use your finger. Okay. And then... I do my makeup in a really, really weird order. I don't really have like a specific order. Like I have to do it this way. Um, so I just kind of do it. Next thing that I do is I will use my Dip Brow Pomade in Taupe. You can see that, but it's an Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow. And I use this brush. I think it's a MAC 266. It's just like an angled um, eyebrow. I dip a little bit and then I brush the excess off on the side. And then I don't have a very specific routine of what I do for my eyebrows. I just kind of follow my natural eyebrow line. Naturally, my eyebrows are quite blonde. So from like here over, it's completely just, you can't see it. You can't see it. It's not there. It's non-existent. But it is existing. I have a ton of fucking hair right there. But you can't really see it because it's blonde. So that's great. And then I take my foundation and I use the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Wear Foundation. Looks like this. And I use it in the shade 2W1 Macadamia. And I put it on my back of my hand. And I just blend it throughout my face. And it's really, really important to blend on your neck. So that's what I always do. And I always have veins on my eyelids. So I cover those up too. And for some reason, my face skin is like a pink undertone compared to the rest of my body. Like the rest of my body is like a yellow undertone, so it's quite interesting. Okay, I believe that's good. And then always blend into your ears. And then I take that same concealer that I used before my foundation, the Flawless Fusion in 2W, and I put that underneath my eyes just to cover up these dark circles. And I tend to apply it in a V formation. Because I feel like that's the shape of my under eye bag, so... And then I take the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Neutral. And I put this right here. And I feel like this really defines my jawline and my cheekbones a little bit more. Because it's a little bit lighter than the foundation that I use. So then I also take the Beauty Blender and I just blend that like this. And as you can see, it just kind of like shapes that a whole lot more. Like that really just enhances like your cheekbones and your jawline. As you guys can see. And then the next step is to take the Benetint in shade Rose Tinted Lip Cheek Stain. And I put this in three or two lines, most likely. Two lines on my cheekbone. And I just blend it all around. Now sometimes I put a little bit on my nose just like, you know, sun-kissed look. Especially for the winter time. Because in LA it's like sunny, but it's kind of cold. So it's still good to look a little bit like glowy and like sun-kissed, but like... You don't want to be too glowy because I find that in the winter I get more oily. Most people get more dry. 
but I get more oily. Okay, and then I take the Huda Beauty and I use this brush. It came with this brush. And I just kind of set what I just put on like that. Like, I don't use too much of it. Oh, this is also the shade Banana Bread. It smells really good. Just like that. After I set that area of my face, I also use the Laura Mercier um, Translucent Loose Setting Powder in Glow. This isn't the normal, like, white powdery one they have. This is a glow one. And I put this under my eyes. It's like setting it, but also adding like a glow and a shine so it's not too matte. Because there's a very, very fine line with being glowy. And then I go in with my bronzer, the Too Faced. I don't know, it's all like the way at the bottom, but it's, I think, chocolate matte or something. Too Faced one that smells like chocolate. And then I just kind of like blow the excess off because I don't want too much. I found my cheekbone and I blend it up to my forehead, like up by my hairline. Yeah, that's basically what I do with my bronzer. And then I put on a little bit more blush because I, I love blush. So this little blush. And then I use the MAC Mineralized Blush Powder in Petal Power. And it's like really shiny. It's really pretty. Like, ow, fuck. Why won't this open? What the fuck? Okay, there we go. Looks like this. It's really pretty and really shiny. I love it. And I put a little bit on my cheeks. And a little bit on my nose. And then I take my Becca highlighter in Champagne Pop. It looks like this. Really, really pretty. And then I have this Urban Decay Fusing Highlighter F106, I think. I don't know. It's kind of faded. And then I put some on my cheekbone. And a tip for highlighter that I've noticed is I like when it's a little bit above the cheekbone. Like, I don't like when it's directly on. I feel like it looks better above because then it kind of, like, makes your cheekbones appear a little bit higher and a little bit more prominent. And then I also add there and then like you saw on the tip of my nose and then on my cupid's bow and then also underneath my eyebrow okay now i take the eyeliner e05 sigma something like that e05 i don't know i don't really know it's kind of faded and then i use the Too faced natural matte palette and i'm taking the shade risque and sexpresso and i just kind of use them both like that blow off the excess then i use this as my eyeliner so I need to be really quiet when I do this. A huge tip for eyeliner that I've learned is if you take your nail and you go underneath it and kind of drag it out, it'll give you more of like a winged look. And like the outer part or like the very end of the wing won't be all thick because I hate when that happens. So it'll just kind of like stretch it out and make it look a little bit better. Okay, I'm almost done. I'm done with like the face portion. And then I take the Sigma Pencil E30. And then I take that same Becca highlighter in Champagne Pop. And I will put a little bit of this in the inner corners of my eyes. And this really just makes your eyes pop a whole lot more. And then I put a little bit more underneath my eyebrow, even though I already did it. And then usually I'll dab more on my nose. Like that. Now, the next step is... So this is like the Benefit. I don't know, it's all like faded away, so it's super old. But it looks like this. I know that it's Benefit, like brow gel or something. And then I just take it and I... Brush my eyebrows up and then go over the top of it like that. Hopefully that made sense. So I use the Their Real Benefit um, mascara and I'm using like a smaller tester one because I used to use this one all the time and I'd buy the big ones. And then I stopped and started using the Tarte um, Lights Caramel Lashes one and then I started using this one. So I don't really have like a technique that I do for my lashes. I just start from the bottom of it and then work my way up. And I like shake this a little bit. So it's not like comfy. Probably my favorite mascara ever. If you guys watch my like very, very first videos on YouTube, you will know that I use this one. Just like my hair. My hair does the same thing. This is like a mini mascara, like a bottom lash mascara by Clinique in 01 Black, I think. So I love this for bottom lashes because I hate doing bottom lashes with like a normal mascara wand because it feels like really clumpy. This one literally is like so perfect. Like it doesn't look clumpy at all. Honestly, this is the best thing ever. Oh shit, I forgot a step. Okay, that's okay. That is okay. We can do it anyways. Okay, perfect. Okay. We're fine here. I forgot a step. This is very, very important. So I take this same brush that I use for the winged eyeliner. And I go in with Risqué Strapless in that same Too Faced palette. And I go underneath the lash line. I start at the very, very corner of my eye. Go to about the middle. This just kind of lines it and makes it look a little bit prettier. Literally to the middle. And then if it's a little bit too dark like this side, blend it out a little bit. That's about it. Wait, we gotta do my lips. So I either use Boldly Bare or Edge to Edge. I think I'm gonna use Edge to Edge today. I feel like it's a little bit more wintry. So like in the winter time, 
I tend to put a little bit more powder on one because I more oily in the winter which isn't normal I guess people normally get dry but I personally get oily so I put in a little bit more powder and I feel like being matte is it just feels right for winter like summer I feel like I should be looking like glowy and stuff but yeah okay and then I use this Bobbi Brown extra lip tint in bear punch 7 I love this stuff it looks like this <laughs> oh my god I need to stop okay and then whatever lip stuff I use I usually just keep that with me the entire day and I'll leave that outside of my makeup bag last and most important step is setting spray this is the D slick by urban decay Let me just go like that okay guys so that is the end of this video I hope you guys like this makeup look this is just what I've been doing every single winter glowy I love highlighter I'm huge on highlighter so this is just like an overall winter look and what I do for winter time I just only switch up a couple things between um, summer and winter because I like to stay quite consistent with like my face and like how I look you know um, so all I really do is add a little bit more powder so I don't get too oily and I feel like it looks better to be more matte in the winter personally that's just my opinion um but yeah this is my winter look I hope you guys enjoyed if you guys have any questions let me know in the comments below if you have any video suggestions for vlogmas or anything that you want to see let me know but anyways I love you guys so much and I'll see you next time go bye